And in fact, I want to spend some time going to some detail to elaborate on how each stage looks at every other stage. So let's start with blue. How does blue see red? As selfish and uncivilized beasts, how does blue see blue? As a lesser civilization, blue doesn't get along with blue. So for example, when evangelicals look at stage blue uh, Muslims in the Middle East, uh, they view them as inferior because that's the blue position. The blue position is that I am a civilization, but I am the best civilization. And yes, there are other blue civilizations out there. I don't, of course, really know that they're blue because I don't even know about the spiral, but they're all lesser than me because that's what ethnocentrism is. How does blue view orange? As too materialistic, too secular, and too liberal. So, for example, how do Middle Eastern Islamic clerics look at uh, American stage orange capitalism? They view it as hedonism. They view it as a descent into depravity and materialism, all this porn and, and women dressing in scantily clad dresses and all this makeup and showing their legs and wearing skirts and all of this. And then, you know, what are Americans obsessed with money and cars? They're forgetting the thing that actually is supposed to be grounding you in life, which is God, which is Islam. See, that's how it looks to them. And of course, many blue evangelicals in America, or like maybe Mormons, uh, when they look at stage orange Americans, they will also see them this way as too secular, too liberal, too materialistic. They've lost touch with their Christianity, with their Mormon roots or whatever, um, with their faith and with the family values and with tradition and with, with heritage and family and with the, uh, you know, with their children. They, they've lost connection with all of this. And now they uh, just uh, basically are just uh, chasing material success. And of course, that's why they're depressed and miserable and uh, they're hopped up on drugs and all of this. And that's why civilization is collapsing in all the rap music and all of this, right? It's this classic, classic uh, uh, example of how blue views orange. How does blue view green? As relativists, nihilists, libertines, bohemians, communists, and hippies. So if you want a really good example of how Blue views green. Uh, a lot of Jordan Peterson's critiques of postmodernism and socialism and communism is coming from this perspective. That doesn't mean that he's purely blue, but a lot of his critiques are coming from this perspective. How does blue view yellow? As space cadets, elites, and intellectuals. And... Uh, Lost in the, in the clouds, philosophers. How does blue view turquoise? As arrogant heretics and nutcases. So for example, how would a blue uh, fundamentalist Muslim cleric view a non-dual mystic? Uh, he would view him as an arrogant heretic because the mystic says, I am God, we are all God. But the stage blue uh, fundamentalist says, no, we can't all be God. God is beyond all humans. There's that fundamental duality. And you can't be the same as Jesus. You can't be the same as Muhammad. You can't be at that same level as the Buddha. Those were all uh, prophets. And nobody is, is at the same level as one of these prophets. That's just because they haven't gotten there yet. They're, they're holding that as a dogma. All right, so how does stage orange view all the other stages? Orange views red as dangerous criminals, blue as deluded religious fanatics uh, who uh, won't listen to reason. How does you view orange itself? As competition. As competition. How does view uh, blue, <laughs> orange view green? As naive idealists, hippies, snowflakes, social justice warriors, bleeding heart liberals, soy boys, and as being too feminine, too soft. How does orange view yellow? As impractical philosophers, theoreticians, 
and a source of ideas to exploit. And how does Orange view turquoise? As New Agers, as frauds and religious nutcases. Orange confuses turquoise mystics and sages with stage blue, deluded religious fundamentalists. Puts them in the same category. Or maybe lumps them in with, uh, with hippies. But generally, when an orange person sees a stage turquoise guru talking about some spiritual topic, he's going to tend to think of that turquoise person as a, as a fraud or as a huckster trying to like pretend to be a guru just to earn money. Really, that's just a projection of orange because orange is all about earning money and materialism. So he thinks that these sages and mystics, that that's all they care about too. Uh, how does stage green view the other stages? Green views red as, very interestingly, victims of social abuse. So green tends to have a certain kind of overextended compassion for red, which is why red can often abuse and exploit green. Because green is that sort of very compassionate, overly compassionate, sometimes bleeding heart liberal. Uh, I remember uh, there was a story that I read in the news maybe a year or so ago where there were some sort of like people from California, some liberal types who wanted to go to, to the Middle East, to Afghanistan, to like ISIS and confront ISIS and like present them with flowers and with gifts and all of this, thinking that they would be able to convince a stage red, um, you know, Islamic fundamentalist uh, who is going to chop their head off, that they could convince them with compassion, with love. No, that's not going to work. They're going to chop your head off. You got to understand that as green. Got to be careful. Uh, how does green view blue? As heartless medieval fundamentalists who lack compassion. Fundamentally, they lack compassion. How does green view orange? as used car salesmen and greedy capitalists who are exploiting people. How does green view other green? As comrades, fellow comrades to build a network for social justice with. How does green view yellow? As aloof elitists and intellectuals. From the green perspective, yellow is, is way too much stuck in their head and not enough uh, compassion. And also, not enough community and relationship because yellow is more individualistic and green is, is a little bit more conformist. How does green view turquoise? Very interestingly, green tends to look at turquoise as already what green is doing. So when a green sees some turquoise guru, uh, they will say, well, that's green. I am, uh, I mean, what I am is turquoise. That's how green tricks itself is green thinks it's turquoise which is uh, too high of an evaluation. And also, green tends to worship these turquoise gurus. And that's sort of what happened with the Osho phenomenon, is you had a lot of uh, Westerners and Californians and Americans who were uh, really inspired by Osho and became his followers, but they weren't nearly as advanced as Osho. They were green, the hippies, and Osho was turquoise. And so that can create a sort of an interesting and dysfunctional dynamic, as it did there. What about yellow? How does yellow view red? As dangerous narcissists, how does it view blue? As closed-minded bigots and moralists. Yellow views orange as myopic rationalists and sleazy businessmen and people who are trapped in the rat race and can't see beyond it. Yellow sees green as naive, emotional do-gooders. How does yellow see yellow? As competent experts. Yellow values the expertise and the intelligence of yellow. And how does yellow view turquoise? As wise masters. As sort of the, uh, the example of what mankind can aspire to.